In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we gather this morning to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us pause and call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. And we make this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Book of Kings. Ahab sent to all the children of Israel and had the prophets assemble on Mount Carmel. Elijah appealed to all the people and said, How long will you straddle the issue? If the Lord is God, follow him. If Baal, follow him. The people, however, did not answer him. So Elijah said to the people, I am the only surviving prophet of the Lord, and there are 450 prophets of Baal. Give us two young bulls. Let them choose one, cut it into pieces, and place it on the wood, but start no fire. I shall prepare the other and place it on the wood, but shall not start no fire. You shall call all your gods, and I will call on the Lord. The God who answered with fire is God. All the people answered, agreed. Elijah then said to the prophets of Baal, Choose one young bull and prepare it first, for there are more of you. Call upon your gods, but do not start the fire. Taking the bull but that was turned over to them, they prepared it and called on Baal from morning to noon, saying, Answer us, Baal. But there was no sound and no answering, and they hoped around the al- hopped around the altar they had prepared. When it was noon, Elijah taunted them, Call louder, for he is a god and may be meditating, or may have retired, or may be on a journey. Perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. They called out louder and slashed themselves with swords and spears, as was their custom, until blood gushed all over them. Noon passed, and they remained in a prophetic state until the time for offering sacrifice. But there was no sound. No one answered, and no one was listening. Then Elijah said to all the people, Come here to me. When the people had done so, he repaired the altar of the Lord that had been destroyed. He took five stones for the number of tribes of the son of Israel. He built an altar in honor of the Lord with stones and made a trench around the altar large enough for two measures of grain. When he had arranged the wood, he cut up the young bull and laid it on the wood. Fill four jars with water, he said, and pour it over the burnt offering and over the wood. Do it again, he said. And they did. Do it a third time, he said. And they did it a third time. The water flowed around the altar, and the trench was filled with water. At the time for the offering sacrifice, the prophet Elijah came forward and said, Lord God of Abraham, Israel, and Isaac, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant and have done all these things 
by your command. Answer me, Lord. Answer me, that this people may know that you, Lord, are good and that you have brought them back to their senses. The Lord's fire came down and consumed and burnt offering, wood, stones, and dust, and it lapped up the water in the trench. Seeing this, all the people felt prostrate and said, The Lord is God. The Lord is God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. They multiply their sorrows who quote other gods. Blood, libations to them I will not pour out, nor will I take their names upon my lips. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. O Lord, my lotted portion and cup, who it is who hold fast my lot, I set the Lord ever before me. For him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joy in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Teach me your paths, my God, and guide me in your truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. My friends, the Lord be with you. Listen now to a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you. Until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, Whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everybody. Well, we have this this great and dramatic moment in our first reading today from the first book of Kings, don't we? And this magnificent scene portrays this, this contest between Elijah and the pagan priests of Baal on Mount Carmel, the mountain of decision. It was a battle. It was a battle for the soul of a nation, whether the people would follow the God of Israel, really the true God, right, or the pagan God. And so all of these priests, 450 of them in number, they go first. And they prayed, they danced, they slashed themselves from from morning until noon. And nothing happened. And And then Elijah steps up to the plate. And he tells the people to throw water on the sacrifice, not once, but three times. It was this dramatic and impressive moment when the people made a choice. They made a choice for the one and true God, the God of Israel. Now, we all, we all have Mount Carmel's in our lives, places of decision in our lives. When a woman decides not to have an abortion, when a spouse decides not to be unfaithful, when a person decides not to gossip. When an employee decides not to steal. 
when an individual decides not to cut corners at work. These are all moments of great decision. These are the places of decision, our, our Mount Carmels in our lives. When we make decisions for life, for fidelity, for honesty, for respecting other people's reputation. And they, they shape our lives, our futures, and our eternity. When we make a choice, although quiet and not noticed by others, a choice that, that forms our future, then we are at our Mount Carmel's, the mountains of our decisions. Our future is not decided in the stars. We decide it here on earth. Amen. Let us stand and pray for each other. Let us pray for the church. May the Lord preserve and protect her. Let us pray to the Lord. For leaders of the world, may the Lord nourish in them virtues of selfless service. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are suffering from war, oppression, or any sins against justice and humanity, let us pray to the Lord. For all of us here, may we be sanctified by the sacrament we receive and have the grace to persevere in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have died. We pray especially today for Peter Leon, for whom this Mass is offered today, for all those who have asked us to pray for them, and for all the worries which we hold within the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Loving God, we ask you to hear us and answer us. In the name of your Son, our Savior, the risen Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine. Uh, blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. May the mystery of this water and wine that we come to share in the divinity of Christ to humble himself to share with us our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and the work of human hands it will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord. Wash away our iniquity and cleanse us from all of our sins. Let us stand and pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. And we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are indeed holy, and you are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples and he said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We pray humbly that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Terry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, St. Anthony, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray with each other. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, deliver us, we pray, from all evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on our faith. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will and who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now pray for peace in our world and between each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, of faith in your mercy and love, I eat your body and I drink your blood. Let it not bring us condemnation, but health in mind and in body. Behold, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. Body of Christ. 
Receive the body of Christ. Receive the body of Christ. Grace of the body of Christ. Sister of the body of Christ. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Have a good day.